Welcome to my channel SwiftLearn. This tutorial I will show how to create calculator using Angular CLI. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Previous tutorial I have shown how to create new project in Angular CLI with a starting server. This tutorial is how to create calculator in Angular. First of all, go to the appcomponent.ts file. This is the title. I just changed the title. Title is My Calculator Tutorial Swift Learn. Just save it. If you change anything in the page, must save. The browser will be replaced automatically. Yes. Now, app component dot stm. There is the title. Yes, my app calculator tutorial. Now it's in the my app calculator tutorial. I uh, still I didn't save it. Now I just save and it's yes, it's automatically replaced the browser. My app calculator tutorial Swift Learn. Design the HTML to perform calculation operation. In that case, go to the HTML app component dot HTML file and now I'm gonna add two input tag, two text box control and four button control. First text box control is input type equal to number, name equal to num one. I mean number one. This text box, I mean input tag is used for first number number one and the second input tag is number two just write as same as previous input type equal to number i will put number i will use number in this uh, tag in this input text or text box okay name equal to number two now i'm gonna add four button control so button just uh, this button I will use for addition addition of number one and number two I mean text box one and text box two and the second button is for subtraction I will subtract from number one to uh, uh, number two and then multiply this this button I will use for multiplication number one with number two and divide fourth button is for divide far from divide operation uh, number one divided by number two okay just save yes uh, but the uh, button is uh, below the image uh, so just uh, add break the image okay now it's looking nice this is number one, number two, and the four button add sub multiply divide. Okay. Now I'm gonna add uh, h3 tag. In this tag, I will display the result. Uh, I mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, divided the result. Yes, result. Now go to the app component dot ts. Yes, here I will write function. I will create four function. First of all, this is export class app component and this is public number. I am just declaring the variable public num one. This is number type. Data type is number, and uh, I am just declaring two variable, three variable. Uh, first variable is for number one number type and second variable is number two this is also number type and the third variable third variable is number three this is also number type uh, I'll use the third variable for uh, displaying result for taking result okay now I'm gonna add function uh, I'm gonna creating function uh, this function I uh, use for addition to perform the add operation okay in this case add this dot num 3 equal to I mean result number uh, result equal to this dot num 1 plus 
num2 this dot num2 i mean number 2 means the textbox 1 value uh, plus textbox 2 value uh, after addition it will display the result in the number 3 finally uh, i will display the result in number 3 in the result uh, result tag okay in that case i have to call this function in the button click event this is the button now i am just uh, call this function in the click event when uh, you click in the button it will display the result uh, with addition of number 1 and number 2 i am just uh, calling the function add and now number oh yes i have to add ng model third break and first break and uh, in this break uh, add ng model ng model used to bind html okay ng model num1 and second uh, is ng model num2 yes ng model num2 now result will be uh, double second breaks num3 okay it's done noted that yes this is num3 and save oh ng model the cannot find ng model import you should uh, add import import okay second break form module import form modules from okay and from angular forms okay now it's done forms module oh sorry forms module forms module from angular forms forms module okay now in the import section you should add forms forms module okay uh, come on, okay now just save yes it's displaying and model also okay now put a number 25 and the number 2 is 5 uh, yes number 25 plus 5 equal to 30 and 25 plus 50 equal to 75 okay it's working perfectly now uh, I'm gonna now subtract multiplication and divide, divide is not working because I didn't uh, write math function yet so now subtract click uh, in the click event I'm just uh, first time I'm just declaring the subtraction function and multiplication function and divided function okay this is sub and the third button click event is uh, click uh, click event is multiply function multiply still i didn't create function i will create the function later but this in this uh, channel you can get all this tutorial html sp.net c sharp angular and uh, android also if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos okay now go to the f component.ts file just add the add the functions subtract yes subtract is just i just copy paste to reducing time this dot number three equal to number one minus number two and multiply the third function is multiply yes this is number one into number three two result will be in number three and divide function divide divide also same as the previous function divided number one divided number two result will be in number three now go to the f component t, uh, html just save yes okay now 
just test put a number in number one 25 and number two five add yes it's working 5 plus 5 25 plus 5 30 minus 5 20 and 25 this is sub subtract function and in that case this is the subtract function uh, subtract number one minus number two resulting number three and uh, result is 20 okay now multiply 5 into 25 by 125 divided 5 into 5 divided by 5 25 uh, 5 okay now it's working add subtract multiply and divide perfectly working 